36. Calculate the concentration of the fluoride ion, F- required to begin precipitation of calcium fluoride, CaF2, in a solution that is 0.01 molarity in the calcium ion, Ca2+. Okay, so we're talking about precipitation, right? We're making a solid. That's what precipitation is, just making a solid of a compound. So I went to the back of the textbook to find out what the solubility product is for calcium fluoride, which is 4.0 times 10 to the negative 11th. Now, I kind of knew to use this because solubility product always has to do with solubility and precipitation. However, if you want to use this value, we have to be at equilibrium. And another word for equilibrium with the KSP is that you're a saturated solution. Saturated solutions are basically the beginning of when you're precipitating. They gave you the keywords here. If we're beginning to precipitate, that means that we can use the KSP to find out what we're trying to find out. In this case, it's the concentration of the F minus. However, if we were at a super saturated solution and we were, had way too much precipitation, we couldn't have used this value. So KSPs always go with balance equations. So let's write out the balance equation for the CAF2. So CAF2, solid breaks down, dissociates, double arrow, equilibrium, into the two ions. Calcium 2 plus, they gave me that. That's aqueous because it's a charge. Plus the F minus, so that's the other ion. And now let's balance. I see that I have two fluorines, so I have to put a 2 in front of here. And now this equation is balanced. So let's... Put the numbers that we want to, you know, that we have. They told us that for calcium, it was 0 0.01 molarity. So for the calcium, I know that I have 0 0.010 molarity of this, and we're searching for the concentration of the fluoride ion. Now, I don't know what that is. That's what I'm looking for. So I'm going to label this as X. Now, there's two ways that we could go about this. The first way, and by the way, you'll get the same answer whether you do it one way or the other. Um, the first way is if we take it into consideration that we have two of these, so I would have to put a two in front of here. Now, this is an extra step because when we do our math and we solve for X, we have to go back and say that you have to times it by two. And, you know, if you're pressed for time on an exam and you, and you accidentally forget that you have to times it by two, you get the problem, you know, incorrect. Maybe it was free response, you get a couple of marks off. The other way is to not say that you have 2x and just treat this whole f as just an x value. Then when you do the math, you get x equals and they match. So that would be the answer. Either way, you'll get the same answer. But since for this one, just putting it as an x, you don't have to go back and times it by two. I'm just going to leave it as X. If you want, try to put it as a two X, do the math, go back, times it by two. You'll see you'll get the same answer. Okay. Now let's take this information, the KSP and write our formula. The general formula is this, right? It's always equal to just the concentration of the products. So raise the coefficients. So KSP equals concentration of CA two plus times the concentration of F minus taken to those uh, coefficients. There was a two here. So I do have to take the fluoride ion and square it. No value for the K in front. That means that there was a one. You could raise it to the first, but you don't have to. Let's plug in things now. F minus, we label it as an X. The calcium was 0 0.01 and the KSP that we found was 4.0 times 10 to the negative 11th. Okay, so let's go for it. 4.0 times 10 to the negative 11th equals 0 0.010 times x squared. Okay, so I'll just leave this as x squared. Let's divide by 0 0.010. This gets rid of this, 0 0.010. So four times 10 to the negative 11th 
divided by 0 0.01. I get four. Whoop. Four times 10 to the negative ninth equals x squared. Want to get rid of the square? If we do the square root, that cancels. You got to be fair. You got to do it on both sides. And then we will get an x value. So square root of that answer. Let's round it to two sig figs. So 6.3 times 10 to the negative fifth molarity. Okay. And then this is what I was trying to, you know, discuss earlier that since the F minus, that's what you were looking for. The concentration of F minus, since we just labeled it as X, it's just this value. So it'd be 6.3. 6.3 times 10 to the negative fifth. And that's the answer. Whoop, whoop. There we go. What'd you think? I really hope these are helping you out. Let me know in the com comments. Um, yeah, solubility is fun. We're, we're almost at halfway through the chapter. So let's keep going. All right. I hope you're all doing well. Keep studying hard. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.